Welcome back, guys, to Final Fantasy XV. Hi, Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City. The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Kothis. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. Aw, oh, what? Then maybe we could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Hey, boy! What is going on? Maybe you can help illuminate things a little bit. Someone's sending us a message. Okay. Well, I don't mind following wherever it is you're going. Can you go faster than me? Can I ever go faster than you? By look for it, I can. Well, we still got chocobos rented, of course. So without the car, we can still get around. Hear me, O King of the Storm. By the Storm Cinder's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her King's name. Luna, where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their King at the Walls of Water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. What will I write back? I received the blessing, thank you, or still rolling along, or got it? Always the nicest thing. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the king of light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, 
I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Locate the three runestones of Ramu, hidden around the sky. Lady Lunafreya has done well to keep the ring from falling into enemy hands. All we need to do is hit Altitia. That entails passage aboard a ship. Kaim may serve us now as it did them then. The hidden harbor. <laughs> Just my work. I'll have Iris set it up. So, in the meantime, we head into the storm. Another day, another deity. Huh. You may think of it that way, but still. Well, we're on foot. There's no shelter from the rain anymore. And I do wonder what nearby side quests we've got going on as well. Because to be honest, we've got no hunts currently going on, I don't think. And I think, compared to where we are, we've got the van interrupted again. We've got wild about onions. Any others near us? Wasn't the frog's quest not far away? It still requires a fair bit of journey. I haven't done this quest yet, have I? What was the quest that you sent me out on, sir? Chase that chocobo. But that's back, of course, where we were before. Now comes to trying to decide what we're doing next. Well, first of all, let's talk to you. He says, jumping in his face. So what'll it be today? Grab some grub before you go? It's about to ask, is there any more things up? Procurement points to be marked. These ones have been giving us a real hassle. Right. A nighttime quest times two. We may as well take it for the time being, wherever that is. Get just to have one on the list. A moon pendant gain for it. I'm not going to wait until nightfall for the time being. I want to figure out where it is first. There. I probably should have it. It's nine o'clock. So what'll it be today? Let's get a food buff on us. Still keeping on, keeping on. Though our money is going down. We just have enough for that. Increased experience points earned by 50% as well. Can do. Hope y'all came hungry. Look at that. Alright then, he got an experience boost thing himself. Sitting there eating in the rain, writing in his book in the rain. Everyone seems quite happy about it though. Y'all come back soon. Time to earn some money then, I take it. Well, in the meantime, we've got our main quests over there. We should probably put an extra day of rent on it, just in case, because Chocobo's our main way through. Oh, hello! Well, howdy! Right, you can customise a Chocobo. Level 4. So it's name, we can name it? Cool. Colour. You seize and fruit obtained as raising prize and request rewards to create dyes and change the coloration of your features. Ah, oh, cool. I think the bright green one. Well, we can have a different colour each. Oh, excellent. Ignis can have a pure white breed. And Prompto. Prompto gets not pink. How cool! And a medal as well. So we've got a replica medal and a roundsy red medal. So that's the replica, that's the real one. Oh, you can put it in different slots as well. Aha, cool! I know we don't have anything else, but feature should wear greens at camp to provide temporary stasis boosts as well, eh? So greens. Bird stamina, gliding ability, galloping speed. Y'all come back now. We've learnt some more. Excellent. Right, well that's said and done. Does that lady need something? 
What's the big idea closing off our roads? Well, the Empire says it's for our own protection. From what? It's daytime. There aren't any demons about right now. Hey, Greeny! Let's go. Ah, ah. Ignis, where are you? Haha, <laughs> what a troop. Right, fun times. But we have to figure out what we're doing. Are we going side questing before we hit the stone? Where exactly is the stone? It's not that far off after all. I was saying that, it's a lot further than I thought. And this exorcism is over there as well. If you know if it's at night, we're better off kind of going for something else. So World Onions is nearest. Let's get on the trail with Greeny Chocobo. We're gonna catch coals of this, right? Hi. Still. We're out of here. Bigness, come on. On my way. Someone's always angry with someone else. So 0.45 miles, eh? First Hi. Titan, now Rama. Chasing down deities is hard work. Think how Lady Luna Freya must feel. If the strain of the rites is as Gentiana suggested, I fear she's far worse off than we are. Well, that was interesting. Uh, just the pronunciation of what I've always called Ramu during the series is actually Rama. Okay. I learn. But we're getting near our goal. All on the wrong side of the road, eh? Imperials above us! Thanks. Ah, uh, we're gonna be long gone. Oh, except when it doesn't allow me to go over the fence. How come that lady's helping you out anyway? Gentiana? Yeah, is she like your fairy godmother or something? I think she's more a messenger of the gods. Whoa. A godly messenger, eh? Well, there's enemies around, yeah. but... Our Chocobo squad can burst right past them. I did see the item on the ground. So what about these onions? Our spring speed and stamina went up as well, which is good timing. I'm glad we got Chocobos when we did. I guess if you're doing the main story, apart from that, we might have ended up only just like nice getting to that camp. With you. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Well, onion soupy kind of thing. Nice. Got what we need. So that's done and done. And no enemies try to jump on me Easy either. Easy now. So next. That's one quest. Next nearest to us was either the frogs, wasn't it? Pretty much. So it's up and over that mountain. So cool. It's just such a great colour of green as well. Says the guy who's got lime green walls in his room. It's beautiful. This chocobo is the most beautiful ever. It's close. It's not gonna get me though. So time to find some frogs. As we waste away the day towards getting a bunch of quests done. Human? Not quite. Well, not exactly gods, messengers are divine entities. And just like the oracle speaks to the gods for the people, the messengers speak to the people for the gods. So she's Lady Luna Freya's partner in divine. Pretty much. Yeah. Alright then, this is our location. Sure. Finding exactly where we need to be is the problem. In the meantime, I'm going so to take this. So, story about Lady Luna Freya coming through town was true after all. Judging by the timing of her visit, she probably set course for the Archean as soon as she fled the Crown City. <laughs> you really owe her big time, Noct. Can't wait to thank her in person. All right. It's yellow frog time. Now, considering the fact that we probably can't go into the water, it does narrow down the search space for us a bit. And if I stay a bit quieter than normal, we might be able to hear it. I'd like to pick something up then.
Alright, let's go around the outside of the barrier. What is this place? It looks fairly important, to be fair. Nice rolls. There's an item over there. See, I knew you catch cold. Hey, try not to squash it. I'm not trying to do that, honest. But they're harder to find than you may think. There's definitely one nearby again. <laughs> Got it. Might have nearly squashed that one though. Which side of this fence do we want to be on? I'm stuck in the brush. There's another. Nice work, Not. One more then. We're getting loads of lures. I say yellow's a fair bit more noticeable as well. Hey! Not a problem this time. Take care you don't hurt it. Is this the thing she wants us to bring? Pretty much. Oh, I don't know why we had to queen around the place a bit. Now I can definitely see you. Let's go. You're so colourful. Right, so with that one done. The other one we had was down the bottom. Van interrupted again. So then we can make a route round. And by the time we get up to the main quest, it'll probably be more near to night time. The demons will be out, but I'll also be able to do the hunt. Making it an efficient quest route. I say at least. How do we increase your speed further? That's what I really want to know. Do you think it's best for me to cut across rather than Come go on the road? Pick up. No luck. Probably got her phone on silent. It's this Iris you're talking about. Knocked. Overhead. Ah, uh, we don't have to worry about that. So now we're getting AP for on the chocolate rides. That's a good purchase. Essentially, you could just run around the world forever and get what you needed. What's here? Small fry? Alright, so what monsters are around this van this time? Is that the delivery van? I think you'll find it very much is as long as I make it over. Thanks for the ride. Cheers, partner. We'll meet again. Oh, no, not what I want to do. I want to jump over. Hmm. The hunt is on. Well, you can attack me if you wish. And I am going to try to dodge them as much as I can. I very much did, but I somehow got stuck in my warp. But he ended up getting blindsided due to it. Let's find out a way. How many times? Enough talk. Time for some action. What else is trying to attack me? Oh! Sort of the last second, didn't I? Time to spare. 
Well, that's my open gained. All right, time to make a delivery. Don't want to spoil the spoils. I think we won, judging by the music. Right then, cool Chocobo again. It's time to get on our way to a night hunt. Or to another mission, depending. Easy now. What time it is when we get over the rest of the country way. It's 2.24 mile, 43 miles, that's to delivering the quest at this point, which is way, way off. I think personally the thing I'll head for, I think I'll probably reach there just about in time to then come back and do a nice round trip. So with that said, now it's to cross the country. I can't go that way, I don't think. You can see the beacon. But I see this mountain blocks the path. I'm going to have to go up and round this way. So as I get moving, I think it's a good time to say I'll see you next episode. Our chocobos are coloured. We're on another mission for a deity, Rama. And more to the point, we got three more side quests done. See ya. Bye bye. Amazing. The power of the gods in the palm of your hands. Never dreamt I'd see lore come to life before my very eyes. Leaving Insomnia was eye-opening, but this is mind-blowing. Indeed it is.